Now in question number 18, we are given this function fn, which is n plus, and we'll write it in summation form, and it will be this 16, 32, and 48. So it'll be this 16r plus, now this is 5, 1, and minus 3. So this is 5, 1, and minus 3. So its general term is a plus r minus 1 into d, and common difference is minus 4. So it will be 9 minus 4 r into n minus 3 n square whole divided by now this is 4 8 and 12. So there will be 4 r n plus 3 n square where r varies from 1 and if we put r as n it will be the 7 n square so it will be the summation from 1 to n. Now what we will do is since we have this n we will write this as 1 plus 1 plus 1 n times so we we'll write this function f n as this summation r varies from 1 to n and we'll take this one with each summation so it'll be this 16 r plus 9 minus 4 r n minus 3 n square upon 4 r n plus 3 n square plus 1. Now if we simplify this we can write this as this summation r varies from 1 to n and this is 16 r plus 9 n minus 4 r n minus 3 n square plus 4 r n plus 3 n square upon 4 r n plus 3 n square. Now this 3 n square will cancel, 4 r n will also cancel. So we'll get this function f n s, this summation r varies from 1 to n, 16 r plus 9 n upon 4 r n plus 3 n square. Now we need to find this limit n tends to infinite f n. So we'll take this limit. So it will be this limit n tends to infinite f n and it will be this limit n tends to infinite this summation r varies from 1 to n 16 r plus 9 n upon 4 r n plus 3 n square. Now what we will do is we will divide everything with n square. So we can write this as limit n tends to infinite. This summation r varies from 1 to n. We will take 1 upon n here and it will be 16 r by n plus 9 upon and here it will be 4 r by n plus 3. Now this is nothing but limit of sum. So we can clearly change it in this integral. So this limit will change to this integral from 0 to 1 and this is 16 x plus 9 upon 4 x plus 3 into dx. Now what we'll do is we'll add 12 and we'll subtract 12. So we can write this as this integral from 0 to 1. Now this is 4 and then here it will be this minus 3 upon 4x plus 3 into dx. Now if we integrate this, it will be this 4 and then minus 3. It is log 4x plus 3 divided by 4 from 0 to 1. Now this is 4 minus 3 by 4 and here it will be log 7 minus log 3 which is 4 minus 3 by 4 log 7 by 3. And that's your option B. 4 minus 3 by 4 log 7 by 3.